So there's one really important word that determines how quickly you make progress. It might sound strange, but it's but. It's a funny word. It seems simple. Three letter word doesn't really have too much meaning, you would think. But, but how we use this word really determines our progress. So when we use this word, when we're using it in a sentence, generally everything that comes before it is dismissed. It's unimportant. You're basically saying, blah, 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 blah. Here's some information, but this is what's the most important. So whatever comes after your butt shines the light on what's valuable and what's what's important to the story that you're telling. Okay? So where I, I hear a lot of people get stuck a lot is when you're describing situations and you're describing going out and doing some sort of challenge, you're putting in all of the actions first, all the things we do, and then you stick in your butt and then comes all the feelings. So for example, um, here, here's an example. So um, I went for a drive and haven't been on a drive, haven't driven on the highway in 10 years. Um, and, and I did it, I did it. Um, haven't done it in a long time. What? Oh gosh, but it felt so awful and I was so scared and I thought I was going to have a panic attack and oh, I just kept thinking, is this going to be like this all the time? Is this going to be me forever? Why can't I just go out and do all these things? See, so this person hadn't done this drive in so long and they did the drive and then they stuck in their butt and said, but it still felt. And that still hangs on progress as how I feel or don't feel, how I should feel and then how I don't feel. And if I feel a certain way, I failed. Not correct. That's not how we use dare. So say the same words, but switch them around. Feelings, then but, then action. This is not to get rid of feelings or push them away, but it's, it's more to teach you how to accept the fact that that's how I feel, but I'm not doing my actions to try and control my feelings. So retell her story, give the facts, went for a drive, haven't done that in 10 years. It was really scary. I felt so scared. I thought I was going to freak out, but when I freaking did it, I did it anyway. And I'm so proud of myself. So I tell people all the time, I want to see your butts. I want to see where you stick your butts. I want to see what comes before your butt and what comes after your butt. Because go right ahead and identify how you feel, what your thoughts are, what your physical sensations are. But then your power with all of this, then you get to choose what you do. Your power is always in your choice and it's in your actions. So this is how I feel. I will notice how I feel. But then I will choose what I do and then I will reward myself for my actions. I will say, good job for doing this. Not good job for feeling good or bad job for feeling bad. You notice how you feel, but then you choose what you do. So um, if you find this relevant, let me know. Let me know about your butts. Let me know where you're starting to stick them. Let me know where you've been sticking them. And, and let me know um, when, when you start noticing... Um, Oh, wow, I really do talk like that. Oh, I really do butt everything away. Really pay attention to the yeah buts. The yeah buts are such a dismissive um, term also, right? Like, so people might watch some of these videos and say, yeah, 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 that's great. But, right? But, but it's so hard. Or my favorite, yeah, but, you know, easier said than done. Yes, easier said than done. It feels hard, but... That's why I'm going to do this more, work this harder, pay more attention to how I say my words. Um, so I really just wanted to mention this really, really powerful, important word.